Today, I'm reviewing and testing the newly released Oxbeam GX series LED headlight upgrade. And you can see that it is a very good looking light with a lot of attention to detail. But does it perform as good as it looks? Oh, it sure does. And I'll show you how good it performs. Wait until you see how bright this thing is. Hello everyone and welcome back to Car Light Reviews where I perform consistent automotive lighting tests to help you make the best purchase decisions, see better and be seen when driving and of course save you money. Oxbeam is a name that anyone looking for LED light upgrades is familiar with and I previously tested the Oxbeam F16 Plus in a video on my other channel when I was using slightly different test methods about a year or two ago. And I'll link to that video if you want to check it out. And this is the Oxbeam GX. It was recently released and when I first saw it, I had to immediately get one here in my shop to review and test for you. The initial looks are as impressive as well as the published specifications, but we're not going to be swayed by that. We're going to really see what this is made of and see if it performs as good as it looks. And like my other LED headlight videos, I'm going to do an introduction and unboxing. I'm going to go over those published specifications and then cover some of the features. Then I'm going to test the brightness and light pattern for both the projector and reflector housings and see how this performs. Let's start with the unboxing. And even the box is kind of well designed with this cool design on it. They put a, a little bit of effort into it. Well, let's, let's see what's inside the box. Now look at that. It's packaged pretty tight. We'll get to these in a second. Let's see what else is in the box first. Oh, my sticker got stuck on the side. That's okay. I got another one. Okay, so you get an Oxbeam sticker, the typical zip ties and double-sided tape for the drivers, and some basic instructions. And like most of the lights I test, these are plug and play, so you probably don't need these. You just replace the factory ones with the new lights. Now, let's check out the main unit. This is the first time I've tested a light that had a protective wrap over the driver. And now, I can see why. And normally, I do the published specifications, and then I do my initial impressions. But let's talk about the initial impressions of this. First of all, this is one of the best-looking LED headlights I've ever tested. I mean, look at all the machine work on this. Isn't that something? I mean, they really put a lot of detail into this, even with the... Uh, Oxbeam logo here covering the fan. Cords are braided, heavy duty. We've already seen the driver, how it's got the gold embossed on it. This is not your average cookie cutter looking LED headlight. And I know that to some of you, it doesn't really matter because you don't see much of it once you install it in the vehicle. But just to know that they put that much effort into the looks and the design of this is really impressive. Hands down, best looking light I've seen so far. And I've seen some good ones. All right, let's get into the specifications here. 60 watts each, 12,500 lumens each, color temperature is 6,500K, it has a custom CSP chip, an IP rating of 68, and a standard hour rating of 50,000. It does have an adjustable collar, and as you saw, it does have an external fan behind the Oxbeam logo, and as you saw, it does have an external driver, and this is a gem of a driver. It has a warranty of two years, and the price at the time of this video before any discounts is $92.99 a pair, direct from Oxbeam. It is not yet on Amazon as I make this video, but I would expect it to be soon. Check the links in the description because I'll keep them updated. So now that you've gotten a good look at this one, I want to tell you how I'm going to be testing these if you haven't seen it already. Check this out. For projector testing, I made a test rig using a 2017 Toyota Camry H11 headlight projector. And for reflector testing, I use an H11 headlight from a 2018 Ford F-150. I use these specifically because they are among the best-selling vehicles in America for over 20 years and are the most common on the road. I'll power the lights using a benchtop power supply, and I'll position the lights hotspot onto a lux meter that is 20 feet away, mounted on my garage door. I'll record the initial brightness and then again after 27 minutes to document how well the light manages heat. I use 27 minutes because that's the average commute time in the United States. My tests aren't for lux number accuracy, but for comparison to a stock H11 halogen bulb, which measures 725 projected lux and 910 reflected lux using my test method. 
Different tests in different environments will give you different results. So if you want to do the same tests of your own, I list all of the equipment I use in the description of this video. And also check the description of this video for important notes on aiming headlights, how to ensure you've picked the right headlight for your application, and the current legal status of replacing halogen headlight bulbs with LEDs like this one. And before I get to my testing, if you found this video helpful, valuable, or entertaining in any way, I'd like to ask you to help me make more videos just like this one. Click the thumbs up, click on the thanks icon to directly support this channel, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell if you haven't already, and you can also visit my Patreon page and learn how you can support this channel for as little as $1 a month, and you can get some cool car light review goods in return. Any of these would make my day and takes less than a minute. Now, let's see how this Auxbeam GX did in my projector and reflector tests and see if it performs as good as this thing looks. For the projector test, 2,190 lux. That's 1,465 over the halogen 725 lux measurement. This is an exact tie with the highest initial projector light I have tested so far, the X77 Aurora. And granted that there may be some slight variance as my lux meter can only display three digits over 2,000 lux, but I find it interesting that they are that close. And after 27 minutes, the average commute time in the U.S., it retains 74% of that light output, making it 1,620 lux, 895 over halogen, and 150 above the X77 Aurora. These lights are just getting brighter and brighter, and for both projector, output, initial, and after, the Auxbeam GX is our new leader in brightness. And as always, I say to be sure to aim bright lights like these very carefully. Since power is nothing without control, let's take a look at the projector light pattern compared to stock. It has a pretty clean cutoff on the top, and it isn't very high over the hot spot, meaning that in most situations, it will throw some, the light a pretty good distance. And there is the usual weak spot here, very common. And if I compare the light output on the projector of the Auxbeam GX to the X77 Aurora, once again, they are very, very similar. Now, let's have a look at the reflector output. 4,570 lux in my reflector test, 3,660 over the halogen, 910 lux. Now this is 100 lux less than the X77 Aurora for initial light output. But after 27 minutes of runtime, keeping that 74% light output, it is reduced to 3,381 lux, or 2,471 lux over halogen. This is 246 lux brighter than the X77 Aurora after 27 minutes of runtime. So for reflector measurements after 27 minutes, the Auxbeam GX is also our new leader in brightness. Now, looking at the reflector light pattern compared to halogen, it's definitely not as uniform as halogen, but that is to be expected with something this bright. Now, just for fun, I did compare it to the X77 reflector, and like the projector, they are very, very similar. And like the X77, a light this bright must be aimed correctly in any style of housing, or it will be unsafe to drive while using for both you and oncoming traffic. As mentioned, there is a published rating of 60 watts per light, and I observed 56.6, just 3.4 watts less than published. And for heat management, after 27 minutes of runtime, the average commute time in the United States, my FLIR thermal camera recorded 211 degrees Fahrenheit or 189 degrees Celsius for the main unit and 128 degrees Fahrenheit or 53 degrees Celsius for the driver. Now this runs quite a bit cooler than the similar X77 Aurora, especially on the main unit, which explains the higher output retained after 27 minutes. And if you want to compare all specifications on all the lights I've tested, I put a link in the description to a free spreadsheet that I update with every video release. So if you want, download that and check out all the specs. This is a very, very impressive light. And when I power on any LED lights in any of my tests, the output begins to drop immediately. So the only real value in measuring the initial light output is to get a baseline to understand how much light is lost over the 27 minute time period. So it's that measurement over time that you can actually use in the real world when driving. So if you consider the light output over time and not the initial reflector light output, I do declare this, the Auxbeam GX series, as the new leader in car light reviews brightness testing. And that is not to say that the previous leader, the X77 Aurora, is very far behind it. It is not very far behind it at all. But what puts the GX ahead is the heat management, which results in that higher light output 
over time. And for $7 less than the X77 Aurora before any coupons or discounts, this is a standout LED light. And if you factor in this awesome appearance and the materials, this is a strong contender for my 2022 LED headlight awards video that I'm going to do at the end of this year. As always, links to where you can buy the Oxbeam GX series are in the description. And by buying through Oxbeam, that is one more way you can support this channel at no additional cost to you. And if I have any coupon codes to save you any money, I'll include them there as well. And once again, click on the thumbs up, the thanks icon, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. And if you have a suggestion on what I should test in the future, please leave a comment and I will check into it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you to find the right lighting upgrades for your needs so you can enjoy your car more and save you money. So keep your headlights aimed, drive safely, responsibly, and respectfully.